Mm -hmm. Yay. It's always so nice when technology works. There we go. Can you hear the dog snoring in the back? Feels like frost. A little frost outside when I was going to work this morning. A little little snow on the ground. It didn't last very long, but it certainly was the start of, you know, that slow descent into bitter cold. Today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. And I'm Shannon and I'm with Paper Delights. And I come on every evening, Monday to Friday at 7 p.m. to inspire you and to motivate you and to fire the imagination. And uh, hopefully you get in your craft room and create something that you can share with some others. So um, I was going to do, hey Pam, I was going to do a different one, but my daughter requested this set. So this is called Feels Like Frost. And I have to admit, at the beginning, I was a little iffy about it. I was like, mm, because they're real pictures. They're beautiful. Um, and they'll make some really nice um, Christmas um, crafts. Um, I was like, oh, cards, okay. I wasn't sure how to sort of do that. You know what I mean? Like, how do I take this image and add to it? It's already so, so pretty and so lovely. Um, but what got me is this side. Isn't this gorgeous? It's beautiful. So it's silver and white with different patterns. So this side is really nice too. And that's the side that we're going to focus on um, tonight. Isn't that pretty? Some really nice ones. But like I said, the back is the real star in my opinion. I just love the back. So we're going to do this one tonight. And then we'll do using the back tomorrow night. So that feels like frost. Super pretty. So the cards, because the pictures are so, so lovely, it it really doesn't take a whole lot to make such a beautiful card. So this is one of the pieces. It's got this beautiful sort of like sunrise or sunset. I spritzed it with my frost. And so this is my frost white. So I put in a a little bit of the of the shimmer paint and then I add um, rubbing alcohol in it and then that's what I use and I put it in the box in a box I spritz it and then I put a pack of um, out of season color on it because otherwise it does tend to sort of curl up on it and then this color here is Highland Heather and then I stamped from our itty bitty Christmas in Highland Heather here so the idea for this one this is the snowflake embossing folder. So I embossed the folder and then I spritzed it again and I put that heavier pack of paper on it because again, the vellum does like to curl. So you have to sort of watch, watch it. So my idea is to do this and this, and then I had a couple of snowflakes that I thought we could strategically place. And then voila, you have this beautiful card. So for the vellum, because you can often see um, behind it, I'm going to add white glue. That and the fact that I'm also running out of adhesive. I'll probably have to make a run. I'm just going to use white glue uh, behind some of the snowflakes. And then... Press that down. So I went with the purple posy, but I mean, you could have picked up any color. You could have done like a blue or a yellow or any of the colors, really. It's so, so pretty. So I'm going to use white glue again, only because, like I said, I'm running low. And it will make it a little bit easier to tuck in the snowflakes. 
So I'm just trying to make sure that I've got an even distance all the way around. And then I'm going to take my, sorry, there's a good side and a bad side to these snowflakes. Well, not a good side and a bad side. One side, everything's sort of curled under when you put it through the, um, um, the cutter. And then the other, so when you put it on the other way, it kind of curls up. So, and this snowflake lost some of its flakes, but I never get rid of my, my accidents because you never know when you can use it somewhere else. This one, so I sprayed, I often spray the white paper to make it into a glittery paper, which is one of my tricks. There. We can add as many snow, you can add as many snowflakes as you like. But I just thought I would add just a few. Oh, come on now. There we go. There. So, like I said, the paper is so, so pretty. It, there's not a whole lot that you need to do to, to zhuzh it up, to make it look even more fancy. Oh, it's really sparkly in the uh, camera. Sorry, I'm just looking at the, at the feed and so I can see it's very sparkly. It's very pretty. It looks very winter-esque. All right, next one. I really like the, the purple tones. So this one is, again, Highland Heather. I embossed the, the, the top or the one that folds down. You could do another layer and emboss it and then put it on, but I was feeling like I didn't want to do that. So, And then I have this nice piece of the... They look like purple berries. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but they are pretty. So this was the whole piece. And so I just took a strip. I spritzed it again. And then I took the gorgeous grape. So it's just a darker shade for behind. And then this is the gorgeous grape again. And then I white heat embossed it with the joy to the world. Now we can add to it, let me get this on first. So you can have some choices. You know, we can certainly add bows to it. We could add, um, I'm gonna pop it up. We could add, um, Uh, a bow to it we can add some gems to it we can add some vellum so I've got some pieces of vellum in behind that you could add if you wanted to so there are some different things that you could add for sure to sort of make it more fancy I'm using up the last little bits Add a few more. All right, there we go. There we go. So, this is from the stamp set, the Itty Bitty Christmas which is a really, really nice stamp set. I, like I said, I don't usually get into a lot of sentiments, but I do like that one. I love all the different fonts. So I popped that one up just to give it a bit of dimension. So I'm gonna pop, I'll have to put some dimensions on the part that's hanging off of the, uh, of the piece here. And then I'll put a little bit of adhesive on the other side help stick it stick it it's 
So there. So now if you wanted to, you could do some vellum. Let me grab it. You know, we could use some of the vellum from the Forever Fernery, the Forever Greenery um, dies, right? So we could clip this, add some greenery or some ferns. You could even cut up some of the silver and add some silver pieces to it. What do we think? Yay or nay? So we could do something like that. If I'd been uh, more organized, I could even have done some of the, the pieces in the different shades of the purple, but I think we'll go with that. Yeah, the purple is beautiful. I like it too. I, re I really liked the color choices, uh, the color palettes they used this year. With the Christmas, like the snowflakes have like those nice teals and turquoises and such. And then the feels like, and it, oh, it also has the purples too. So I really like the, the color palette. It's not just all red and greens and stuff. So so it does, like I said, it's such a beautiful paper it doesn't take much to add to the the wow factor of it so so there's that one and then our last one for tonight and I mean you don't have to add these pieces right like just just having the 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 picture the the paper is is so so lovely as well yeah so this one I didn't shimmer because I wanted it to have a bit more flat, like a bit more of a, a flat look to it. So this is Night of Navy with uh, a piece of white and then the image. And then I have another piece of Night of Navy here with a Happy Christmas and then a piece of vellum underneath. And so this was what I was thinking for this one. But I didn't want it too sparkly. Like I found this one, I liked the sun and it just made me think of sparkle and this one has like little frozen little dew drops so that again it made me think of sprinkle you could spray this one if you wanted to but I just I don't know I liked the the matte look to it and originally when I cut this one out I just had it on the blue and that looks nice but I really find having just one extra layer really does change the look right isn't that neat so neat Look at that paper. Isn't that gorgeous? I just... So, tomorrow we're going to make some cards with that beautiful silver paper. It's the paper you didn't know you wanted. Well, at least the paper I didn't know I wanted. So, so pretty. There we go. my noisy between the dog and my adhesive this way this way that way all right there we go gotta make sure we're all going the right way we are all going the right way there we go you can tell there's a full moon coming all the little monkeys are a little out of sorts A long day. 
yeah, I thought it, it just, you know, that extra layer just sort of changes everything. It's really surprising. I am going to pop up this onto the vellum. And again, I didn't want to put it straight on. I just thought the vellum added a little bit of softness to it in behind. But if you didn't have it, it would still look just as pretty, I think. And then put a little adhesive just behind where the sentiment is so that you don't see it. There. And again, I mean, you could add a bow, you could add gems, you could add, you know, you could add whatever you happen to have. But I like the simplicity of it. I think it looks really elegant. And, and I don't didn't want to take away from these beautiful pictures in the in the paper. So those are the cards for tonight. So yeah, beautiful paper. Like I said, it's the pack you didn't know you needed. Like so gorgeous. Part of the trouble with some of them is like, I like, I love this. I'm thinking how, what, wow. Like how do I, how do I showcase it? Right. So as much, um, a lot of the paper I actually think I'm going to use in crafts and stuff. So it's just so, so pretty. And I love the whole piece. Like it's so hard just to, to cut a section, right? So at the back, like I'm telling you, it's gorgeous. Wait until you see the snowflakes. So pretty. Love it so much. All right. Enough rambling. I'm so sorry. Thank you so very, very much for joining me this evening. I hope you are inspired and you've got those juices flowing of ideas of things that you can do in your craft room. Uh, have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your evening and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you and stay safe.